<laughs> I'm taking that as a win. Yeah, it's a little wide on the gap, but a tremendous improvement in the aerodynamics. Yeah, that's a win. That. That's gonna be a little more, a little more critical. Well, it's riveted in there, so there, I can't pull it out. So I'm just gonna have to try to manipulate that thing right where it is. So I got this line in it here, and that's from coming back and smacking the bracket. Bottom end is riveted into the, that part there. So that whole front assembly, that's amazing that they did it that way. So I'd have to have the headlight in to determine this contour here. I certainly can't use it from the headlight bezel, but I have this. So I know I gotta pull it out far enough to where that comes back. No time like the present, I guess. I do wanna, before I pull it out, I wanna try to get that contour back. So I have to match this contour, so I can come down and use that to uh, try to push that back in. However, this has to be supported from the backside. So you look at this angle here, a little different there, a lot different there, and almost vertical there. Which means this bar has to come up and go back. Which is a, also indicated by this being compressed and this being compressed. So it has to be lifted from here up, pulled in, this rebent. I just follow with the camera. And it was all done simultaneously. See, if I just put that bar on there and hit that, it's going to take all this and pull it back. So i got to support it with something behind there. But what? Just what? Let's see, a piece of wood about that wide. I think I have one of those. Ah, uh, that'll do, pig. I'm going to have to cut it down. How far away from that bracket should it be? There. Why? That's perfect. Well, firstly, I gotta get back enough room. Well, that makes a big difference. Now I've got my board in behind there. Need to be left handed to do this. Depilated it. I need something soft. And I need to allow this. This has got to go back, and that needs to be supported. The thing is, I can't hold both sticks at the same time. I mean, me and hammers don't get along, but now I'm trying to do it left-handed. And it's that thickness to go behind there. Oh, uh, I got an idea. I'm thinking that'll do. Hey. Whoops. I got my wood wedge in there.
case you have noticed, this is pulling back into place. This all has to go up. Can't come down. Gotta follow this line. It's only high there because it's pivoting there. So when this got pushed down, that went up. So this still has to go up in order for this to come down. And this line is below that line. And this needs to go back. That helped. I'm pushing it back in again. I've got no support behind it. Down here I have no support behind it. I've invented it. Oh, I see. <clears throat> I keep trying to push this up. It's this part that has to come down. It comes along there and then goes up. But how to support it? I've got to support it here to drive this down. And then looking at this, where it's pulled away in the center. The thing is, once you hit it, it all falls down, and you gotta set it all up again. I had the perfect stick, where did it go? By golly, that's better. Now the whole thing needs to come down. And forward, I see, because this... Uh... I keep trying to get this angle here on that. That's because that's pulled back. This has to remain stationary while this gets pulled out. Golly, we're getting there. Took this out of whack a little bit. But such is life. This whole thing has to get pulled down. I see.
sun's going to be encroaching soon. Wind's picking up. Smoke's coming in. Hope I can get these in there. That's pushed up and needs pulled down. And that's pulled down and needs pushed up. That whole bracket is pushed down. There's the mess we're dealing with. You see that there rivet? Sitting at an angle about like this. Well, it's got to be about like that. And once it is, obviously this edge needs to come up here. That is pushed down. That's got to go up. That's supposed to come straight out instead of up at the angle that it's at right now. And that, the rivets broke loose from the top side up, up here. So this still has to come forward yet. There's so much to do. I think I'll start here. In fact, oh, this is riveted, so if I can take that rivet out, I think I will. Get it in there. Remember how it went? Like it? Yeah, I'm supposing I should leave it loose. Fixed! Home of bad lighting and poor audio. So you weren't warned. Top, ah, right hand. Uh, I think I'll. I think I'll straighten a little whilst it's not in my way. Oh, I didn't want to do that, but since it's out of the way, this area seems to be like that. What can we do about it? That's all we're going to get out of it. But you know what? It's better. It's better. I should pull this off. Pretty effective. I do so love my big bar. Oh, I 
ain't doing much though. Saw one of those ads on YouTube. This new tool is sweeping the internet by storm. Taking the internet by storm. Nothing more than a contour gauge. And a cheap plastic one at that. Pretty close enough. I think I ought not mess with it any further. That's what I think. <sighs> it still has a bad curvature. Get in there. Plug it! This whole area is supposed to be flat. Oh, that's what I didn't want to do. Exactly what I didn't want to happen. I gotta get rid of my kinky down here. Got to invert that. Let's look at the other one. Curved here, but flat, just plain flat all the way down. And then this is where the kink is. I hate it when I put dimples in it. Leave it alone. <laughs> I'm loving it. I have moved to the shade. Where was I? Need something to spread with. It's already cracked and split and broke. It's going to break right there, so I got to try to kind of leave it where it is. 
But what do I want to see? This angle right here needs to be a 90 degree. Pretty much. Which is what I have not accomplished over here yet. So I want to be able to pull this down while leaving this stationary. Or I can leave this stationary and pull that up and then twist it, which might be a better idea. I don't know, because it wants to break right here. And then I've got a dent right there that needs to come out. Hmm. 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 This has a 90 degree angle on it. I can just open that up. So this little tail needs to be twisted without twisting that. This needs to come out and to be lined up with this. I think, I think, I think, I think, maybe I want to secure this first. And it's rivetation cavitation, which is there. And then I'll work on these. I think I will. Change of plants. I happen to have some of these in stock. A little washer on there so it can't strip through the aluminum. I've got this to take care of. So this needs to come straight across, but it's kind of bound into itself. I'm going to have to squeeze those together with some vice grips and get it straightened out before I can put the clip on it. That's what it looks like after 10 minutes of fighting. It was okay when that bracket wasn't in the way. Well, I will put it in without the bracket, and then once I've got it all straightened out, washer. Where's my washer? And I've got it pseudo straightened out. I'll install it. Sorry. I gotta see what I'm doing. Doesn't quite go back there as far as it used to. Do that later. Now, I can push there and pull there. Oh, okay. The body line that comes down here comes down right here. And this isn't straight across, which is why this gap isn't closed. I might push on that a little bit more after we get this together. We, 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 we. Glad I bought these at a garage sale. Only ever bought one tool off the Cummins truck. this out. Gotta get it out. <laughs> it's working! That's not gonna be easy to take care of. Let's go over here. So this tab must be on the horizontal plane. Let's do that. Without breaking would be best. Well, that was too far because this has to be bent back yet. Alright, so keep this from bending. Bend that back. So bend this out while holding that in place. Yeah, 
dimpled it. Kind of knew that was going to happen. Perhaps I can undimple it. Well, I think that's as good as it's going to get. I think at this point I should leave that reasonably well enough alone. It's got a little twist to it, but I'm not going to untwist it. Or attempt to. I want this to go back. I'd really like to take this pucker out of here, but I think it's better off left alone. Although almost completely imperceptible by the camera, As you know from earlier, this is tweaked. So we need to untweak it. But the rate of untweaking, we know not. Well, oh, that's just fixture. We didn't break nothing. I don't want to have to keep fixing stuff. The only way to find out is put it back in the car. I've croaked my tab. Can't come any farther forward than that because it'll push this out. So we're looking pretty good. Now, because this piece is sandwiched behind this piece, and it has the screw up here, which goes there, this insert, since that's broke out, I'm not gonna use it because I need an insert here that's gone. So I'm gonna pull that one out of there and put it in in there. I probably shouldn't have put this in yet. Would have made life easier. Decisions, decisions. I'm sure this is going to have to be bent to take care of where it's got to go. This one has to be installed yet. There ain't enough stud sticking through. Ain't no clicking on these. You just gotta be thankful you can even get in there. It ain't loose. Ah, this enables us to move on to the next project of the cosmetics. The headlight doors. All right, here's what we're looking at. Driver's side, mangled side. Round, ah, they're oval. Kind of, sort of, maybe oval. If I compare this, I see I need to fix this and this. And on the other side, looks pretty good. Just got to fix this. However, this is a problem. So I think I'll start here. These are parallel, but on two different planes. These aren't anything at all. Elliptical, if you will. Let's try unellipticating them. I didn't check this way. Got a bow to it.
that ain't right. Pretty close. Oops, too far. Like, how do you get that out of there? I'll do all the rest of this stuff first. I'm calling that enough. I'd say that's considerable improvement. But we're not done. But wait! Well, it's riveted in there. <clears throat> well, it's riveted in there. So, we got this. So, we got this. And that works nicely. So I can come down and use that. So I can come down and use that to uh, try to push that back in. However, this has to be supported from the back side. And the other thing. Okay. Yeah. This whole thing has to get pulled down. I see. Heard the call. Sitting at an angle about like sitting at an angle about like this. Well it's gotta be about like that. Ah. 
although almost completely imper im although almost completely imperceptible by the camera. Don't punch a hole in the radiator. Ow.